Hello everybody, it's Soleil. Today I received a lovely Christmas crafty item mail from Robin, who is at Crafts I Heart on YouTube, and she is also on Instagram as plan.craft.love. So, you guys, look at this beautiful snowman card. I think you guys called this a slimline card maybe, but it's like a family of snowmen and it's all glittered up. I love all the glitter sparkle. It is so, so pretty, Robin. Thank you for thinking of me. I really, really love everything. I got every item out of the box and we already had a look at everything and it's going to be so fun doing more Christmas activities. Look at that. So she sent us two of the wooden Mary sign and here is a stamp set so kids can stamp away. Then she also sent two of the lead light sets. Then there were two of this lovely ornament filler packs. I mean, these don't have to be just used for Christmas. I can use this throughout the year for all sorts of projects. Then she also sent us these um, empty ornaments, bubbles. So we are definitely gonna like use that. Then there was this jingle bell. And I can use this for Valentine's too, I reckon. Like that. Then there was this amazing glitter sparkle magic snowflake pieces. I really love how thick they are and they're very sturdy. I love these so much. Then she also gifted these beautiful glitter sparkle foam stickers. I love these. These are really nice size to use. Then there were two sticker books. And this is really, really adorable. Look at that. The red truck and the Santa, the Christmas tree, the moose. Oh my gosh, and this holographic page, that's so nice. And there's a red page and purple page and green page. And these will blend really nicely on an envelope. So there's two, so each of my boys are going to be taking these. And there was this tree. It's like all iridescent, glittery, and very pretty. And look, you guys, I'm going to put my hand around it a bit to see, so you guys can see the color. Look, it's a changing lights Christmas tree. Isn't that magical? Oh, I love that color. This is so magical, and it's purple now. It was like pink before. Now it's like green, greeny yellow, fluorescent light. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love this so much. Thank you so much, Robin. So appreciate all of this so very much. Now, I am not gonna end the video here, you guys, because I thought I wanna share with you guys what I have been up to. So my challenge has ended and I'm still very, very grateful for every entry I had. And I just am so thankful. Every day I look at my tree and the wall and I feel so thankful. And so I have been making away. Now that my challenge is over, I have gone back into making, making, making. And I have started using this Barely Art glue. And you guys, I have to tell you, when I make my sequin bows like this, so I've been making sequin bows. So when I make sequin bows, I had to use glue gun to glue the middle bit like that. So this is the one where I use the glue gun. So you can see the glue gun bit there, the glue stick. But when I um, read the packaging and how Kathy told me that this is a strong, nice strong glue, I really wanted to see if I can make sequin bows without the glue gun. And I really was able to. So I made a lot and I packaged some away so I can send it out in January. Because if I try to send something now, I think it might be just stuck somewhere and not moving. So I'm gonna, I started packing away things, but I need to make um, some more. And since Valentine's is coming up, I 
found, well, I grabbed this lot here. Now this was gifted to me by Denise from Photos by Jersey Girl. And this has a really nice mixture of love envelopes and confetti reds and like holographic uh, sequin mix and stuff in there. So I thought this would be really perfect for Valentine's Shaker Bow. So I made one with this color because I wanted to match the blacks um, really well. So I had this color, charcoal gray, uh, well, what do you call this? Holographic dots tool. And I used this, then I used the white tool. Where's my white tool? Oh my gosh, I just lost my white tool, everybody. <laughs> My desk is so messy at the moment. Oh my gosh, I got a pile of stuff. So here's my white tool. Now I had a big roll of it and this is all I have left so I need to get some more. But I think I have enough to make the shaker bows. So what I'm going to show you guys that I can use my Barely Arts glue and not the glue gun anymore. And I'll show you how I make this bow right here. So, I need about this much, which I think is about uh, three inches wide, I think. So, I, I don't really measure, I just guess. So, I'm just going to cut that much. And so, I am going to put this over it. Well, I'm going to put it the other side because I need to put sequin on top. I'm going to do that and cut the same uh, move tool. I'm going to cut the same length as my white base. So I've got the white one at the bottom, then I put this holographic one at the top. So as you can see, it's right in the middle. Well, not exactly, it doesn't have to be exactly in the middle, but sort of in the middle. And the tool is not cooperating. So now I am going to use my I use um, these little ice cream scoops to pick up my little sequin mixes. And you want to not put it towards the edge. You, you don't want to put it too close to the middle, but you don't want it too close to the outer edge. You kind of want it like a little bit off the middle, okay? And then that's too dark for me, and I don't really want it to be a dark thing. I like colors. Colors make me happy and colors make people happy. And Valentine is supposed to be love, you know, filled moments. So I am adding this lovely sequin mix and this was also gifted to me by Michelle from Call Me Michi. So these two together is a really great combination. So what I do is I fold it in thirds. So I put one over, then the other one over like this. Then I grab this side and I fold over towards the middle. Little bit overlapping the middle. I put this one over it. Now I have a rectangle like this. Then I pinch the middle. Then I grab the rest from the front and at the back. So then you have this bow. So what I do now is I choose my thread color. So I have some red and the pinks here. I will use the pink one. And this thread is, has been sent to me by Kathy O'Sullivan. She has like sent me many of these colors and I have been using them to make my shaker bows in the past and also lately. So then I glue that bit, just a little dab of glue and then I just go over it like this. I just wrap it around. And as you're wrapping around, you want to pull it a bit, pull it tight a bit. Okay? So you do that. So I'm going to wrap it around a couple times like this. And then you put your thumb over the ending part. And then you just chop closest to the, the tool. Not right close. Then you just grab your glue tip and then go over the thread like this. And this Barely Arts glue dries clear. So I am super, super happy that I get to use this glue and I'm super thankful to my friend Kathy so much. And so then it holds. Then you look at the shaker and, and 
and I want to puff it up a bit by just tapping like this on each side. And look you guys, now we have a Valentine's sequin shaker bow. So I'm going to do this one more time to show you. So just in case that you have missed and you want to follow the steps one more time. So you need about three inches wide to cut. Okay. So then you grab whatever tool color you want to do. See for this one, I overlapped two colors. I had the, um, the silver spotty dotty one and then I also added the, I have some left, which I'll show you, this color. See this beautiful iridescent hot pink one? So I added this one on top of the, the um, silver one, silver dotty one. And then that's how I did it. And because you use two tool together, that's why the sequins don't fall out, okay? And I got this tip from, um, I think it was Mimi Jocelyn, I think it was. And I have done a video previously as well, me making sequin bows. But I thought, since I'm doing this now, again, for those of you that are new to my channel, instead of trying to scroll down to find that video, I am going to be... I thought I should do it again and share with you guys. I love these little envelopes. Look at that, isn't that cute? Oh, there's too much envelope on that side, so let's move that. And then I'm gonna put some of the um, brighter, pretty color, pink and the reds with the black. Like that. Oh, that, this side looks like it's got a little bit too much. So, and you just use however much um, sequin mix you want, okay? So I overlap from the bottom, fold again, so you have a third, then you fold one side towards the middle, then you grab the other side and overlap in the middle, okay? You pinch the middle, you grab the other side with your other fingers, then you grab the other side again. So then you have this, okay? Then you glue a little bit in the middle, like this. You grab your, um, this time I might do red. You put the thread or string, whatever you wanna use. Doesn't have to be thread, it can be um, slim, um, um, what, do we, what do you call it, those ribbons, those um, silky ribbons and things. You can use those as well, so I'm just gonna go over several times so I have right amount and then I'm gonna cut towards the middle not cutting the tool of course can't see well okay and then you just glue the rest down with your glue like this and it, this one um, dries clear, so it's just so wonderful. I love that I don't have to burn my fingers doing this because I have, I had to be so careful in the past making these because I had to use a glue gun. And look you guys, look how pretty this is. And if you have some sticking out like this, you can fix it. You just have to cut the bit that's sticking out. Look at that, see? And these are really great gifts to give because these can be added to memory decks creations. You can just put some in packaging and then send it off for the other recipient to use for their projects. This bow can be added to a box decoration. It can be added to bag toppers. So many things can be done and just by adding this sequin mix bow, it just changes a whole lot. And I really enjoy making these. I know they do take a little bit of time to put it together, but it's really worth giving a go. Please give it a go if you have lots of sequin mixes lying around. This is really great to do. It is wonderful to take your mind off things. We have had some news of different state, some COVID outbreak happening, and we've got, they've started doing 
you know, contact tracing and apparently they've been, you know, in the city nearby us as well. So my mind is starting to go a little bit crazy again and hopefully I can just craft away and not think about it. And I really enjoy sharing what I make with you guys. Uh, it's just, for me, YouTube is like having someone listen to me talk about craft. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye for now. And thank you so much, Robin, one more time. <laughs> Bye.